All right, I'm back on the rabbit, the jackrabbit. I found some good source of information on the construction of a jackrabbit from YouTube. I did a search for jackrabbits on YouTube and even found a guy dressing out a jackrabbit he killed that uh, shows an anatomy really well. So I'm going to use a lot of that to uh, work out this uh, really amazing animal. They, uh, they make, they, there's quite a bit of meat on a jackrabbit. I mean, you could have fed two or three people off of one jackrabbit. They're about as big as a dog. And I think the guy that got the rabbit said that he, it felt like it was about five or six pounds of uh, rabbit, so they're hard to find though because they're very skittish. Time to play with some clay. I uh, turned the heat on just to take a chill away out of the studio. It was a, it's in the 60s outside, but it ain't in the 60s in the studio. So as soon as this gets done with its cycle, I'll uh, turn it off so I won't have to listen to it. And you won't have to either. It can be a small face, and uh, it's a little daunting when I think about how small this face is and how I've got to try to make it look a, like a jackrabbit's face. They have pretty big eyebrow eye, eyeballs can't talk I don't know, I think it might be too small of a head right now. It looks small.
Well, there ain't a lot of meat on the uh, leg of the uh, jackrabbit. It's mostly bone. As you can see in this drawing, or this uh, rendering, most of the muscles right there from the elbow down to the joint of the paw. And most of the muscle is right there in the front of the, uh, or the upper part of the arm. I'll just go ahead and let the arbiter stay there, but I'm not going to put the ears on yet. I had to do a lot of this ear stuff off camera because it was just too difficult to work around the camera. And uh, I think I got it figured. I think I do. I gotta work on those ears a little bit more. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, let's put this on the uh, base of the cowboy and let's see how it looks. Well, it's not looking too bad. The uh, thing that I'm gonna have to think about though is I can't have this rabbit supported on one thin leg. I've got to figure out how I'm going to support him with maybe a bush or a stick or something that would meet him in some area of his body that would support the body so it doesn't uh, eventually go down to the ground with his back legs. Bronze is a good metal to cast in, but it's not really strong. That's why I had to do the horse the way I did because I had to have that support between the tail, the legs on the uh, ground here. Um, I had a gentleman who knows horses, and he said that uh, this horse is going for a real wreck if he isn't in a different position, but that's the point of the whole thing. 
is that the horse is, you know, he, he was trotting along and all of a sudden this rabbit runs out in front of him or beside him, scares the horse. The horse slams on his brakes and is falling backwards. The cowboy may end up in a wreck. I'll work on this more tomorrow. I'm about worn out on this thing tonight. And I've got to work on this side of the the uh, rabbit, but uh, Jack Rabbit. But all in all, it's working out really good. I've just got to figure out a few things, and uh, hopefully, I can. Yeah. Hopefully, I can. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.